Oh my, I asked Huggy and Buggy to tidy their room before going out to play. <laughs> Those kids. Do you know where they are? I think I saw them in the backyard. I'll go find them, Jen. Wow, it's so cool to look at all the little insects. Yeah, the ants are my favorite. My favorite is the grasshopper. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. And I think this might be a good time to tell it to you. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. The grasshoppers do cartwheels. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Digging in the sun. I ho, I ho. The ants go digging in the sun. I ho, I ho. The ants go digging in the sun. The grasshoppers dance for fun. And, and all they do is play while the ants work all day. Grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! They never helped. They wished they had. And now they feel really bad. All they did was play while the ants worked all day. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The grasshoppers said with a grin, We'll never shirk our work again. And the ants all shout, Hooray! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Word? That says tortoise, Huggy. What's a tortoise? A tortoise is a very big turtle. And what's a hare? A hare is a kind of rabbit. Why don't they just call the story the turtle and the rabbit? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Can we just read the story? <laughs> All right, then. One day, the hare was teasing her friend, the tortoise, and she wasn't being very nice. The boastful hare could run really, really fast. But the kind old tortoise was very, very slow. To be so slow, it must be sad. It must be very, very bad. The tortoise, he got pretty mad the day of the big, big race. Well, let's have a race, said he. You're too slow. You can't beat me. I can. You can't. Well, let's just see. The day of the big, big race. Stuck in glue the day of the big, big race. The hare, she laughed. Ho, ho, ho. That old tortoise is slow, slow, slow. I can't be beaten. No, no, no. The day of the big, big race. Poor old tortoise, sure enough, moved so slow and ho. 
huffed and puffed. He was tired, but he was tough the day of the big, big race. I am miles and miles ahead. I think I'll take a nap. She said in a carrot patch she made a bed the day of the big, big race. And still he creeped, and still the hare was fast asleep the day of the big, big race. Finally, he passed the hare, fast asleep and unaware. The finish line, I'm almost there. The day of the big, big race. The crowd began to cheer and cheer, and slowly toward us he drew near. Said, oh dear! The day of the big, big race. The hare began to run and run. Oh no, oh no, what have I done? Hooray! The slow old tortoise won the day of the big, big race. The lesson here is plain to see whether slow or fast you be. If you work hard, you will succeed the, the day, day of the big, big race. The day of the big, big race!
Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Said the policeman. You can't do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> and that was the story of the three. <laughs> Silly piece. <laughs> the lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Mouse was creeping through the woods and woke a sleeping lion. Angrily, he grabbed that mouse. She was scared and crying. She said, If you Tiny thing, what can you do for me? Tell you what, <laughs> you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you! Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and wrong to laugh because you're small. If it weren't for you, I would not be here at all. Off with you. 
I'll wait for Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Billy the Middle ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity hippity hoppity up jumped the troll and he hollered out Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered and stop. Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll, I'm not very big, and you look very hungry. Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff is coming next, and he's much bigger and tastier than I am. Well, all right then. Be off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Billy the Biggie ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity hippity hoppity up jumped the troll and he hollered out Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered and stop. Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Billy the Biggie, he lowered his horns and charged straight at the troll. And end over end over hill over glen and over the mountain that bad troll flew. Over the mountain that bad troll flew. And happily ever after lived upon that grassy bluff. Billy the Little and Billy the Middle and Billy the Biggie. The Billy Goat's Gruff. And Billy the Biggie, the Billy Goat's Gruff. There was a little boy and his name was Jack. He lived with his mama in a little old shack. Jack asked mama, why are we poor? A giant came and spent our door. He stole everything we had, we had. He stole everything we had. Jack, we have to sell our cow. Off to the market, you better go now. So Jack took the cow and he walked down the road where he met a man pulling a, a heavy, heavy load. load. That's a mighty fine cow. He said, he said, that's a mighty fine cow. He said, I'll buy your cow for magic beans, the prettiest beans you've ever seen. That's a deal. And Jack ran home. When Mama saw the beans, she moaned and groaned. Out the window they flew, they flew. Out the window they flew. The minute the beans landed on the ground, they started to make a rumbling sound. Out from the ground, the beanstalk grew right up
Once there lived three grizzly bears in a house in the forest. Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear sat down to eat their porridge. Ooh, much too hot. Growl, Papa bear, let's go walk in the forest. That's when Goldilocks came by, found their house in the thicket. Knock, 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 no answer. So Goldie entered the kitchen. Mmm, smells good. She grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge just right, just right, just right. After Goldie had. Her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room, she spied chairs of three different sizes. They looked quite inviting, so Goldie thought she'd try them. Papa Bear's chair, way too hard. Mama Bear's chair, way too soft. Baby Bear's chair, just right, just right. Just as gold he settled in that chair, broke into pieces. Gold he went upstairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in. They looked quite inviting, so Papa's bed she creeped in. Papa Bear's bed way too hard. Mama Bear's bed way too soft. Baby Bear's bed. Three bears came back home. Soon as they stepped in, they knew they were not alone. Someone's been eating my porridge. Growled Papa. Someone's been eating my porridge. Said Mama. Someone's been eating my porridge. Cried Baby. And they ate it all up. Ate it all up. They walked into the living room, and what do you think they noticed? Someone's been sitting in my chair. Growled Papa. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Mama. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Cried Baby. And they've broken it up, broken it up. Upstairs in their bedroom now. What do you think they noticed? <sighs> Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Growled Papa. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Mama. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Cried Baby. And they Goldilocks woke up and saw three brown bears staring at her. She screamed, help! Jumped out of bed and ran away with the clatter. Down the stairs and through the door, Goldie's gone forevermore. Our three bears, they scratched their heads, fixed the chair and made the beds and sat down to eat their porridge. And that story of the three bears. Yeah! Buggy, did you just take Huggy's apple? No! Hey, my apple's gone! It wasn't me! Well, Buggy, what's that? Um... I think it might be a good time to tell you a story, Buggy. There was a boy who watched the sheep, the silliest boy you ever did see. One sunny day, who knows why, he thought for fun he'd tell a lie. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come, hurry, hurry. And up the hill, a farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was 
was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. The very next day, at half past ten, the silly boy cried wolf, wolf again. And up the hill, the farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. But that same day, at quarter past two, a big bad wolf came into view, into the field. The wolf did creep to scare the boy and steal the sheep. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come. Hurry, hurry, run, run, run. Wolf, wolf, it's not a game. Please come now. But no one came. The silly boy, he shook with fright. That wolf stole every sheep in sight. The little boy was very sad because he knew that he'd been bad. He decided there and then, I'll never ever lie again. The most important thing to do is always, always tell, tell the, the truth. truth. <laughs> <laughs>
girl said Uh-huh, uh-huh And she helped Granny get back in bed Uh-huh, uh-huh They ate the cookies happily And that's the end of our story <laughs> no, silly. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely bowed I'll trade you beans for that milking cow They're magic beans Whoa. And they'll grow a crop as high as the sky Wow! Jack went home to show his mom But when she saw what he had done She threw away the beans outside Oh Jack, just beans? Oh mom! She cried But, but mom, they're magic beans Oh, magic schmagic The next day where the beans did land A giant bean Grew. Oh man! Jack climbed those twisty vines so high and found a castle in, in the sky. sky. Whoa! Look at that! But when he went inside the place, a big fat giant with an ugly face came thumping in so very loud. Shook the heavens and the clouds. Fee fi fo fum, I smell a boy. Yum! Was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big gold giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first I'd better say a prayer. Oh please, oh please, keep me safe from the mean old giant. He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Aha! He said, the giant's pride. After five, feed five for fun. I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Feed five for fun. Ready or not, here I come. Uh, 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 yikes! Uh, Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Oops. <laughs> Wrong story. Jack was fast and acted quick. He grabbed that fine white little. A singing horn and climbed down that stalk again. La la! But the giant came thundering after Jack and threw himself on the beanstalk. When I got home, I grabbed an axe and chopped that beanstalk all the way down. And that big old giant went hurtling off, never, never ever to be found. With the hen's golden eggs, Jack and his mom could now live a good life. Jack's mom was proud and made a feast, and neighbors came. Did they make beanstalk soup? No, but now they had a hen that laid golden eggs. Oh, but you could break your teeth on those. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's my turn to tell a story. <laughs> okay, but can we be in it? Sure! I need three Billy Goats. Archie, yep. Luca, you in? Yeah! Tell us the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. Gruff! Three Billy Goats Gruff set off to the hills to eat green grass and get their fill. They ate sweet grass all day long. They ate and ate till it was gone. Oh, look at that! Oh, fresh green grass. <laughs> Across the river, the little goat spied a field of grass on the other side. Cross the bridge and you pay a toll. Not with coins.
means you feed the troll. Oh, oh my. my! The three Billy Goats Gruff were very scared of the troll. But they were also very hungry. Little Billy Goat Gruff just couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> so off he went. I may be scared, but I'm hungry too. As the billy goat trip-trapped by, the troll popped up from under the bridge and said... Who's not trip-trapping across my bridge? You won't get by me because I am going to eat you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge with my rotten jaws! It's only me, a baby goat! I'm skinny! You see? Yeah. And he'll be coming along next. Very well. Ah, uh, beat it, kid. <laughs> now Middle Goat was next to cross, and off he went trip chop. But on the bridge, the troll appeared. There's a tasty chop. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth, and claws. I'll eat you if you cross my bridge just because. Who's that trip trapping across my bridge? Just me, old troll. I'm off to eat that uh, sweet green grass. Said the middle goat of the three. Oh, no, you're not. Said the troll. I'll eat you with my tea. But I'm all my skin and bones, you see. No fat on me at all. You'd really like my brother, see? He's a butterball. Oh, oh, okay. Go. I wait for big brother. <laughs> So the troll let the middle billy goat gruff cross the bridge and waited for his tasty big brother. <gasps> this is not good. So over the bridge the billy goat tramped, tramp, tramp on the wood. Who's that tramping on my bridge? It's big billy goat, you hairy monster. Hey, that doesn't even rhyme. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge. How about some applause? <laughs> Be very hungry. <laughs> I'm on my way to eat green grass nah. and join my brothers too. I dare you go to cross my path. My horns will charge you, shoo! And with that, the big billy goat charged the troll with his big pointy horns <laughs> and sent him tumbling backwards over the bridge. Never to be seen again. So now I'll see my brothers too and we'll eat until we're fat. We tricked that troll with a plan, you see. What do you think of that? <laughs> what do you think of that? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joey. Tell us the Goldilocks story again. I want to play Goldilocks this time, cause, cause, <laughs> okay, that'll be funny. Out for a walk went Goldilocks, in the woods she saw a house. I'd like to go in and see what's there, I'll be quiet as a mouse. did she first see? A table full of scrummy food! Yum! Porridge! One, two, three! Oh! But the first one was too cold! Ooh! And the second one was too hot! <gasps> Ouch! Oh! But the third one was just right! Mm. And she ate it all in a shot! Yummy! Three bear chairs inside the family room. Oh, hmm, I think I'll check them out and sing a little tune. La 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 la. But the first chair was too big. Oh, <laughs> oh my! And the second one was too small. Oh, too tight. But the third one was 
just right. Oh, this is the best of all. Oh, oh, oopsie daisy. Oh, my. When she plunked into the chair, it broke into a million pieces. Oh, my. Look what I did. <laughs> oh, well, this adventure has made me so sleepy. I think I need a nap. Goldilocks climbed the stairs to a bedroom with three beds. <gasps> Pretend that I'm Little Red <laughs> and I'll be the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah! yeah. There once was a girl all dressed in red who went to her grandma's sickly bed. She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell and visit Gran for a short little spell. Now remember, don't talk to any strangers. I promise. Mama gave Red some special teas. Grandma's very favorite cheese. But in the woods, a wolf stopped Red. Well, hello, my dear. You're going where? He said, um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you. But I'm off to Grand. She's sick in bed. I've brought some cheese and Fresh baked bread. Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart. He knew the way to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> the wolf sneaked into Grandma's place. I'll hide you so there's not a trace. He locked her in, got into bed with Granny's nightcap on his head. Help me! Poor Granny cried. Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red, and she walked right in. Oh, I've been wondering how you've been. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. But she sounded weird. Uh, Granny, since when do you have a beard? Oh, oh, oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. And Granny, what big eyes you have. And Granny, what big teeth you have! The better, my dear, to eat you with! <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Say that to my face! The better.
better to eat <gasps> you with. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pound! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf! And you better stop being a bully or you won't have any friends! Uh, huh. Well, the huntsman let poor Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger Confess, Little Red I've learned my lesson now She said She learned her lesson now, she said Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson. Uh -huh. He sure did. And they sent him away and he never came back. See what happens to big bad bullies? Indeed. Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <laughs> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Sorry, Mr. Lion. Uh, there ought to be a law. Oh, sorry. I, I hope I didn't hurt you. The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse. Oh. The other mice were frightened and squealed. You mouse! I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea. I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free. I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. <gasps> oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice, Mousy. <laughs> friends are just like family and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion C. Friendship is a gift that always sets you free. So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Sweet. Once upon a time... No, wait! Okay, do you want to tell the story? <laughs> no, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time... Three little bears went out to play I built a house of straw today Said one little bear and just 
just like that He built that house and then he took a nap But a mean old wolf woke him up Oh no! What? What? I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there Open the door little bear beware Oh! He pounded the door Let me come in! Not by the hairs of my berry chin chin Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been Instead of straw Out to play went two little bears My house will be made of twigs, see there? Said the second little bear And just like that He built that house And then he took a nap But once again That mean old wolf woke him up I'm a big bad wolf And I see you there Open the door, little bear Ever been. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I guess we're gonna have to build something that that mean old wolf can't blow down. Just one little bear, and she had to think quick. I make my house out of sturdy bricks, said the third little bear, and just like that, she built that house, and then she took a nap. And can you believe it? That nasty old wolf woke her up! I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there! Open the door, little bear, beware! No! Oh. He pounded the door! Let me come in! Not by the hairs of his very chin chin! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in! And he tried and he tried and he tried again! Oh. Sheesh! <gasps> so, did he blow the house in? Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> the bricks were too strong. <laughs> so, what happened to the mean old wolf? He was never to be seen again. Wolves are like that. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> 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 oh, Daddy! Mama, let's read the one about Goldilocks! <laughs> yeah! Oh, yes! Goldilocks and the Three Bears! Well, once upon a time... Goldilocks went for a walk and came upon a house in the woods. The house belonged to three bears. I'd like to go in if I could. Well, you don't say. Goldilocks walked right in and found three bowls full of food. <gasps> Porridge, she said. How nice. Mm -mm -mm, that's really good. But... The first one was too hot Ouch! The second one was too cold <laughs> The third one, well... Behold! Now this one is just right! Mmm, <laughs> that porridge was yummy! I think I'll go get comfy in the living room! <laughs> Goldilocks went to the living room Where she found three very nice chairs she had to try them out, of course But they belong to three bears hmm, This one looks cozy Well, the first one was too big Oops, the second one was big too Oh my The third one was just right oh. But when she sat, it came unglued Oopsie daisy Oh dear Perhaps I just need to go lay down Goldilocks went upstairs and there she found three beds. <gasps> so many choices. 
choices where to sleep. I want to rest my weary head. But the first bed was too hard. Ouch. And the second too soft for me. But this third bed is just right. Oh, I think I'll just fall asleep. <sighs> <sighs> While Goldie slept, the three bears came home And they could not believe their eyes oh. The door was open, was someone oh. there? What a strange surprise! Oh my! Someone's been eating my porridge Someone's been tasting mine too And mine's all gone, oh goodness me! What's a baby bear to do? Oh dear, have a look in the living room. Oh, oh, you see what I mean? Uh -huh. Someone's been sitting in my chair, <gasps> and someone sat in my chair too. Uh -oh. And oh my dear, what happened here? My chair has come unglued. <laughs> I think we better go upstairs and see if there's someone up there. Okay, follow me. Someone's tried out my bed. This isn't your average bed. Uh -oh. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And uh oh, she's still there. I was just on my way out. <laughs> To the woods and hid in the deep green glen. The three bears locked their doors and never saw Goldie again. And never saw Goldie again. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what a relief. <laughs>
distress. The hole became so big that the lion made it out. He looked at her in shock and said, What's this all about? Oh, well, that's what friends are for. Whatever do you mean? It's good to help a friend. I always keep my promises to the very end. I told you I'd repay you. Mr. Lion C, kindness is a gift that always sets you free. <laughs> See, you're free. <laughs> the lion purred, and they lived happily ever after. Like best friends? Yes, indeedy do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs>